So everybody's talking about Sora 2, but for good reason, because it's creating some insane videos that look like this. So in this video, I'll take you behind the scenes to break down the artless tools and the workflow that made these shots possible. And I'll show you a hack that will save you a ton of time and effort. And then I'll create one from scratch, showing you every step, tweak, and regeneration along the way. And by the end, you'll know how to approach Sora 2 like a filmmaker where you can actually create things that look and feel cinematic. But if you tried it yourself and you got some weird or bad results, don't worry, you're not alone because getting good results isn't just about having a good prompt. It's about understanding the entire process, which I'll be showing you guys today. But listen up guys, we are picking one person to win an entire free year of an Artlist AI subscription. All you have to do to enter is comment what you found most valuable in this video. So let's break down how Sora 2 is different from other models. A lot of other models are what we call fusion models and what it basically does is it takes text and image data, mixes it together and kind of guesses at what you want. But Sora 2 is different because it's a reasoning model. It actually thinks through what you're asking of it because it relies on the intelligence of ChatGPT, which we can use to our advantage. So you can literally use ChatGPT for anything. You can brainstorm ideas, create reference images. You can even have it build prompts if you know how to train it correctly, which is what I'm gonna teach you guys later in the video. So let's break down how I made these three cinematic sequences using Artlist and ChatGPT. Apology fixes everything. No, but it's all I have left. You had choices, David. You always did. You just never chose me. I did. Every time. I just didn't know how to stay. It's not just motion. It's evolution. Every step, precision. Every second, purpose. This is more than a sneaker. It's the future, redefined. All right, well, now that you've seen the videos, let's break down the process. For the first video, I use Artlist to generate some images for reference. Key tip, you can take these into Nano Banana and literally make any changes you want. But now here's the hack that is gonna save you a ton of time and effort. There is a Sora 2 documentation guide on OpenAI. I'll link it in the description. But basically what it does is it teaches ChatGPT how to build Sora 2 prompts. Now, before you run off thinking that you're done, it's not that simple. This is just a way better starting point. There's still a whole creative process to get some legit results. But let me show you how to do it. You can literally just take the link, paste it into ChatGPT, and then type in something like, these are the guides for how to prompt Sora 2. And from that point on, ChatGPT knows exactly how Sora 2 interprets prompts. It understands the right structure, the format, the terminology that it uses super helpful. But let me show you what the documentation guide actually does. So instead of saying something vague like make it cinematic, which I'm sure we've all done, it teaches ChatGPT how to actually describe camera setup, lighting and palette, action and beats, tone and mood. And that's the difference between a random result and something that looks like an actual cinematic scene. So let me give you guys an example. Instead of saying a beautiful street at night, it becomes wet asphalt, zebra crosswalk, neon signs reflecting in puddles. But anyways, after I uploaded the Sora 2 documentation to ChatGPT, I brought in my reference images and then typed in my prompt. I put in create a 12 second Sora 2 prompt that will result in a super cinematic scene of a man flying over a field similar to these photos. It should start with a man walking in the field and then start hovering and finally fly. The camera should track him as he flies over a field. Now normally you want to be a lot more detailed with this, but since we have reference images, it has a lot more information to pull from for the prompt. So you're going to hit enter and this is what comes up. I just copied and pasted it so you can see the entire prompt. But if you can see from the beginning how extensive it actually goes from the little amount of information I gave it. it shows the duration, the aspect ratio, the style, ultra cinematic, photo reel, dusk palette. Then you have the character reference from the images that we gave it. But what I really love that it does is it time codes it and breaks it into different scenes to fit that 12 second period. But if you look at each scene, it's so detailed. Detailed. You literally have the environment, the man's actions, you have camera movement, the lens type. But the main point being, if you tried to type this all out by yourself from your brain, it would take forever. But even though we have all of these details, it's not going to give you a perfect result out of the gate. But if you guys want to learn more about AI filmmaking, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell to always stay updated. All right, so let's copy and paste this into Artlist, and then we're going to select Sword 2 Pro. There are a ton of great models to choose from, as you can see here, but today we're working with Sora 2 Pro. And this is what I got. Oh. 
But that's just a good example that even with this crazy prompt, you can still have mistakes and you're gonna have to make refinements and tweaks along the way. And so I went back, made some more tweaks, ran it again, still didn't get what I wanted. And I just continued that process. But if you look here, these are all the different variations of the prompts and the tweaks that I made. And I'll go more in detail about specific refinements and tweaks when I build one from scratch. But I just wanted to show you guys the overall workflow of how I created these three sequences. But also key thing to understand is that you never get the same result twice. You can use the same prompt to generate 10 times and get 10 different results. Just something to keep in mind while you guys are working on your stuff. So for the other two videos, it's the exact same workflow, but we didn't have reference images for this. So you want to be much more detailed. You want to include details like environment, lighting and mood, time of day, emotions and poses, camera movement, dialogue and how it's spoken, and texture and details. So even though ChatGPT will do a lot of the work, you still want to include as many details as you can to get close to the vision that you want. But also keep in mind when it comes to dialogue, it can do things like this. You have the choices, David, you always did. So you just want to specify who's speaking. And also another tip, if you don't have reference images, you can reference a style that you like. So you can even say something like in the style of a Nike ad, or you can be more vague and say something like a luxury sports brand. But let's get to the fun part. Let's create one from scratch. I really do like dystopian worlds, stuff like Dune, Blade Runner, riding like a futuristic motorcycle, holographic map, pulls out a staff that extends into a spear. Uh, let's try it. <laughs> so I actually already had this reference image from a previous piece I did. I'm just gonna bring this into Nano Banana to put her on a bike. And then we're just gonna use those as reference inside of ChatGPT so it kind of knows what to describe. So I need a 12 second or two sequence of this character riding a futuristic grungy motorcycle speeding through a barren land with natural motion blur, tracking shot with natural camera shake. She stops, gets off, brings out a device that projects a hologram. Then she hears something turns around, pulls out a staff, extends into a spear, full body framing. And then a close up of her eye dilating, notes, dramatic lighting, slight haze, golden hour. <sighs> Hit enter, and this is what it gave me. Basically everything I showed you before, everything split up into time codes. Let's copy the code. We're gonna bring that into the art list generator. Looks like Sora 2, 12 seconds, and then generates. Okay, you're, oh, you're just frozen sideways. Okay, dismount was weird. You look kind of cartoonish. Okay, not terrible, not great either. Let's go back into ChatGPT. I basically said I want more speed on the motorcycle, have the camera orbit around her while the ground blurs. Then I also said her stop needs to look intentional and she gets off smoothly. And then for the device shot, I want it angled over her shoulder and to make it more photorealistic. Now, normally writing prompts by yourself, you wanna be very intentional and specific about the type of language that you're using. But when you're typing it into ChatGPT, it'll take your directions and then expand on that. So you don't have to be so specific on that. Take this for example. I said, have the camera orbit her. You go down into the prompt and it says, camera orbits her from front to left to right rear tracking tightly while she leans into the wind. And so think of it like you're the director telling the cinematographer what to do. And then he handles all of the nitty gritty things of how to make that happen if that makes sense. Okay, and this is what I got. I like the orbit. Okay, and you're holding the spear weird. All right, so I said the shot of her stopping is not working. Let's replace that shot with the front on shot of her out of focus. And as she slows down and approaches the camera, she comes into focus. We need to be more specific with how she holds the spear. Hold it with her right hand out stretched like she's pointing at something. All right, let's see what we got. Nice orbit. Okay, it did it from behind, not the front. I'm gonna trust that the next generation is gonna fix that coming into focus shot. I feel like sometimes it just makes little angle mistakes. So I said, remove the macro shot at the end, extend the scene with the staff. The staff should be forearm length and extend into a six foot spear. Add more mechanical elements of things snapping into place. And as she looks and sharply turns her head, have her emotions be more surprised and a little more worried. What do we get? Oh, we've lost the plot. What are your hands doing? <laughs> okay, so key tip, patience. Results can take a lot of time to fine tune. Before we try and make any more, let's try and regenerate and see if that actually was a consistent thing. Okay, yeah, I think that was just a one-off weird glitch. I think I just need more energy, so that's what we're gonna add into the next refinement. I type in, always keep camera moving to keep the energy high for all scenes, and then FPV drone for the bike, handheld for the rest. Ooh, I like that, high energy. Dismount, okay. Not bad. Ooh, she does look great. Ooh, that's sick. 
Okay, all right, we're getting closer to what we want. If you get to something where you're close, instead of making adjustments, try and regenerating to see if you can get something that you like. Ooh, that looks sick, actually. That looks super real, that looks sick, holy crap. Oh, we've done it, baby, that's fire. Let's watch that again. That's pretty much it. That's the full process from idea to final shot. You don't have to use ChatGPT, but it is a super useful tool if you know how to use it correctly, which you now do. Well, I hope you guys found this video helpful and make sure you guys subscribe for more AI filmmaking tips and tricks and we'll see you next time.